everyone. Hello, it's Ashley. This is Ashley here. Hello, hello. And today I'm going to be talking about something that was highly requested. Joan first mentioned it in my vlog. And then you guys left comments saying like, oh, I want to see a video on like what you eat in a day. So I decided to make a video. I'm going to take you guys with me through my day from breakfast, lunch to dinner and snacks in between and show you guys what I eat throughout the day and some diet tips if I have any and yeah, hope you guys find it helpful and yeah, let's get started for some background info I came to Korea in 2011 and then I started training to become a singer and then I had to go on a diet mm. I never thought I was overweight or considered thick but of course when you're on TV you want to look even thinner because the camera does add a few pounds so that's when I started trying to lose weight that's when I started having like crazy cravings I had a huge appetite I just wanted to eat whatever I saw it's just all a mental thing um, I struggled a lot with that there's a lot of diets I've tried. I've tried like the one food diet where I would just eat one type of food. I tried eating just apples for like three days and then just bananas. And then there were days when I survived on just 10 cherry tomatoes. Do not do that. <laughs> you have no energy. You feel dizzy all the time. Do not try it ever. I've been through a lot of unhealthy diets. Um, now I'm currently on a diet just to lose a few pounds and I haven't been starving. I've just been trying to eat healthier. Whatever you see today on my video is not something I would necessarily do every day when I'm not on my strict diet. This is considered strict for me because when I'm not on strict diet, I would have at least one normal meal a day. But I feel like diet is really like a lifestyle. You really need to change the way you eat, um, the way you live, you have to exercise. So I feel like just deciding two weeks out of the year that you're going to be super fit and that you're going to starve for two weeks and make your summer body, like that's not going to work. And I'm sure you guys have heard this a lot. When you guys gain it back, you gain it back even more, like twice or even three times the amount you lost. That has happened to me a lot too. Most important tip is to just find healthy, delicious food that you like and just try to incorporate it into your diet every single day. Now what I eat from Monday to Friday, it's kind of different depending on the workout I do that day. Right now I've been doing Pilates on Mondays and Wednesdays and I've been doing one-on-one -on -one training with my fitness trainer on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. So Pilates is kind of earlier in the morning and the workout isn't too long so I just like to keep it very simple. So I'll just have half an apple all right guys, this is what I usually eat before I go to Pilates. It's like the leftover from two days ago that I saved in the fridge. I'm just gonna cut it. And I like eating the skin too. So make sure you wash it thoroughly before you eat if you eat the skin. And the skin is good for you, so you should eat it with the skin. And then I'm gonna cut them smaller. sprinkle some cinnamon powder just because it spices things up and it's less bland to eat. I mean this is perfectly good without anything but it's even better if you add some cinnamon. And I used to hate cinnamon but now I actually like it. But let's say I'm feeling really lethargic and tired and have no energy that day then I'll eat it with this. This is my favorite peanut butter. But on days I have workout because that is super strenuous and it is hardcore, I try to eat a little more. So I tend to go for fried eggs because I love eggs. These eggs are tiny, so small. I 
like it when my edges are crispy like that. I'm going to put some of this on it. This makes everything so much better. Um, why does that yolk look like it's well done? <gasps> no, <laughs> no, it became well done. This one's over easy though. Yes, that's what I like. And lunch, and lunch too, it depends on the workout I do that day. So today is Wednesday and I had Pilates this morning. I went home, I got ready, and then I came straight to practice. I just packed my lunch so I can eat it here. Because when I eat lunch at home, I kind of, even though I finished my meal, I kind of tend to go back to the fridge lingering with the open door like is there anything else I can eat hmm so there's a lot of temptation at home so it's best for me to just pack whatever I need and just get out of there so today I packed for lunch sweet potato oh, one of my favorite foods like not even favorite healthy food or favorite diet food my favorite food in general is sweet potato all our fans know that lucky me because that makes diet way easier for me because I have to have one at least one every single day if I don't have one every day I'll go crazy like that is my dose of like chocolate like sweet potato equals chocolate for me because it's so sweet and I love the texture and I just it's just I just love it and Korean sweet potatoes are so rich and sweet it's like honey if you've tried you know what I mean I packed that for lunch today with some cherry tomatoes. My cherry tomatoes and grapes in here. Um, I'm not gonna eat all of them at once for lunch though because I wanna save some for snacks later just in case I get hungry. So I'm probably just gonna eat half of this. And then my sweet potato. It's so tiny today, but I'll have to live. And I just brought this to show you guys because sometimes the Mart doesn't have sweet potatoes, they run out of sweet potatoes, and then I cry because I'm so sad. But thankfully, Korean online supermarkets, they sell packaged dry sweet potatoes, and I just buy loads of them and I have them at home just in case I run out of real potatoes, sweet potatoes. They look like this, they're packaged. Um, there's 70 grams of dried and steamed sweet potatoes. They're 100% Korean sweet potatoes and they dry it, they steam it. So it's like very squishy too. So good. But I'm saving this for now. Look how yellow it is. It's almost the same color as my dress. So good. I can literally eat this for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You can either steam it or roast it, but I like roasting it just because it tastes sweeter when you roast it. This is really good with um, black coffee, like Americano. silent and after workout I'll eat more protein so that way my muscles can grow so the work that I did doesn't go to waste this is for my meal after workout I'm gonna pop this in the microwave for like 30 seconds it's already defrosted so I just want it to heat up This looks very unappetizing, but it's actually pretty good. <laughs> and then usually for dinner, uh, because I do have radio every single day these days from 8 to 10 p.m., I go to my radio station by like 7 p.m. When I get there, they provide um, a, a lunch box or like a dinner box for me. So they provide a salad with some fruits and vegetables and uh, rice balls. But I don't eat the rice, I just eat the salad and I bring packaged 
chicken breast from home, so I just eat that with my salad. So guys, I actually forgot to bring my chicken breast today, so I came to Paris to get to buy a salad. I'm gonna be buying their roasted chicken salad, balsamic vinegar, and chicken breast. This is like my go-to place for salad when I forget to bring my chicken breast or if I feel like eating something different. I eat the same thing every day for dinner, so sometimes I just want a different kind of salad. I guess I have to film the dinner part again tomorrow. I forgot to bring my chicken breast today. I'll show you guys what I really eat for dinner. I am here at my workplace, <laughs> and this is the um, food they gave me. Oh my god, the rice changed to brown rice. It's usually white rice. Anyway. So this is what I usually get. This is the oriental dressing and it comes with apple, orange, pineapples, a small banana, and some cherry tomatoes and lettuce and cabbage. I don't like cabbage. I remembered to bring it today. I really like this flavor. This is the garlic flavored. So tender and when I ordered the chicken breast, I ordered 50 of these and 50 of the regular ones, but I only ate this. I think this is like the last one I have and now I'm going to have to eat the other less delicious ones. So kind of sad about that. It smells like kimchi. It's so bland without dressing. Dip it like this once for some flavor. Alright, I'm done eating. I really don't like cabbage and carrots. And eating apples at night, I heard it's not good for you, so you can't eat rice. Bye bye. And then also, um, after I eat lunch and before I leave to radio, three days out of the week, I have dance lessons for two hours. So after that, I get pretty hungry. So on the way to radio in the car, I'll have snacks. These days, I've been super into grapes. So I'll have some grapes and I make sure to have my nuts. I came to the convenience store to buy some snacks. So many choices. Usually, I get this almond milk chocolate flavored. And I usually get this over easy boiled eggs, but it's a little salty. Oh, that looks so good. But no, stop it, Ashley. Stop it, stop it. Okay. This is what I eat. Oh my gosh, they have green tea flavored almond and it's Angry Bird. They also have chestnuts, which I also love. It's also a good snack. For now, I'm just gonna get this too. It's 5 o'clock, I'm gonna have a snack. My nuts. I know I bought the almond milk, but I don't feel like drinking it right now, so I'm just gonna have this for a snack. So it has cashew nuts, walnuts, almonds, and raisins. 25 grams, which I think is like the perfect amount. And also the most important thing, I try to drink more than two liters of water every single day uh, just because it helps to detox and it's not only good for diet, it's also good for your skin and your overall health. So I always carry around my tumbler and I drink a lot of water. Whew. Um, and I tend to drink warm water. Naturally, I just drink a lot of water because like I drink while working out and then I drink while I practice singing or during singing lessons. And then for radio, when I have to talk for two hours straight, you know, your throat gets super dry. So I keep replenishing my throat with water. So it's not too hard to drink two liters, but I know some people just hate drinking water. I recommend either, you know, putting some tea bags in there, decaffeinated tea bags, or they have dry fruits these days that they sell that you can just put in the water that makes the water taste more fresh and fruity. So it'll be helpful to those of you who just don't like the taste of plain water. 
and I make sure to take my vitamins. A fan got me this one, it's vitamin C, and it's chewable, and it's super delicious. And you're only supposed to have one a day, but I always get tempted to eat more because it's so good. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys found this video on what I eat in a day helpful. Just know that I do have cheat meals once in a while, like on the weekends, because I am not perfect. And there are so many delicious food in this world. Like, how can you miss out on it, you know? And one of the biggest joys in life is food, you know? So, yes, I do have cheat meals over the weekend, like you see in my vlogs when I go out to eat with like Joan and Christine, and that makes me very happy. We all need cheat meals or cheat days once in a while, so don't be too hard on yourself. Eating like this, I saw an improvement, of course not just in weight loss, but I saw that my skin cleared up as well. Because before I would get a lot of whiteheads and I would get a lot of redness and pimples around my cheek area. But after I started eating clean, I didn't have any of those. I think I had like one, but yeah, definitely going to try my best to keep this up. Let me know if you guys have any tips or advice for me and if you guys have any like favorite healthy snacks let me know and i'm gonna be linking some of my favorite snacks that i didn't get to share in the video in the description box below so check that out thank you for watching and let me know what you would like to see next thanks guys bye